Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Look, if you're new to the channel, check us out, youtube.com slash duck call room. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing something, something pretty cool on there, something that only subscribers will have a chance to get. So if you're listening on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, follow youtube.com slash duck call room. And if you're on the podcast apps of any and all sorts, leave us a kind rating and review. So that's all the housekeeping for this week. We have another guest. Actually, he's not another guest. He's the guest? same guest. He's a recurring guest now. The boss is back for the first time ever. We have two Robertsons in this room at one time. So if today you don't hear from me and Johnny D a whole lot, you're welcome. Boss, welcome. God, Godwin told me I didn't have to talk much. I'm taking his chair. Uh, I'm just going to do what he does and just sit here. What? <laughs> you got to make weird noises. Actually, he's really good at sitting here and not working. So <laughs> Y'all got him in his bang zone. <laughs> really has come in hot. In, well, y'all keep calling me a guest. I'm pretty sure I own this building. So how am I a guest at my own place? No, you're just a bad penny. You keep showing up. <laughs> Well, speaking of bad pennies. Oh, no. Speaking I'm of a bad silver, pennies. I'm a silver dollar, son. Oh, my gosh. Hey. You, hey. you look like a penny that's been laid out on a railway. Oh. And trains well, hey, been running over it deal. for years. Did you go to Easter Sunday and celebrate Jesus' resurrection? Did I go? Yeah. No, I didn't realize you had to go somewhere to celebrate. I started celebrating well, before I went anywhere. Well, hey. Hey, so what's your I, ce- hey, oh, I celebrate. Uh-huh. I celebrate it every day. Uh, I do, too. When you get my age, you'll, it'll be more important to you. Uh, yes, I saw okay. you at a building. I walked beside you and said, hey, hello. Hey, I said, hey, happy Easter it, to you. Yeah, and it was good to see the church fill a useless building. That There you go. Hey. Man, we have we we we're coming in hot today, boy. Right. It's coming in hot. Well, I had to bring in the resurrection, boys, because hey, it like was I a said, good day. Hey, like I said, when you get my age, it's looms. It's getting it, close. Yeah, it looms larger in your mind. Well, it's yeah. looming <laughs> large on me as well. So, <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't but a couple of right. months ago that they had they had you basically in that hole getting ready to run oh, yeah. roll yeah. that rock over in front of you yeah. anyway yeah. <laughs> yeah i had one foot in the grave there boys is <laughs> what everybody was telling me well technically si and i don't mean to go phil robertson on you but um Here if you're talking about did i celebrate at a building uh with other people i did one two three four five 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 different celebratory thing it oh, started oh. on friday for me jack oh, okay oh hey. good friday oh service. yeah good friday i did the whole <laughs> the whole three days <laughs> which one was your favorite one two three, three four, four five. Or five they were all good hey, awesome. there was just all there was some lobby action and it was a building we baptized five. two guys yeah um that happened that's actually when i stepped out came back in and one of our people had studied with them, so a guy and his son got baptized yeah. uh, yesterday morning. But I, was, I don't mean to go Phil Robertson on you, yeah. so. Well, no. I was wondering where you disappeared to. I saw you when you left. I had to go, yeah. And I, I was worried about you. I had to go get somebody else in on the oh. resurrection. Oh, well, there, there you go. Hey. Well, hey, good for you there, buddy. <laughs> I think I won that. <laughs> no, I, I'll give you that, okay? Uh, hey, if you're talking about baptizing people, yeah, okay. That's a win-win for everybody, boys. That is a win-win, especially uh, yeah. for them. Yeah. My goodness, yeah. See, I missed Easter lunch, the whole eggs, all that. I missed all that. So. You missed lunch? I did. You're going to have to repent Sunday. I did. Don't worry. I've... I've <laughs> I've gotten enough lunches in my day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Uh, this is such a different deal because now not. Si is the one sitting here giggling, which is what we're used well, to right. doing. So and thanks. I mean, this is all right. Here, no, I no. Can... Hey, this was actually good, okay, because I was going to get into it. We started this thing off talking about relationships. You know, our first podcast. Oh, okay, okay. yeah. I didn't know how far back yeah. we were going. No, no, here, well, so. well, and I just was fixing to tell the guys, I said, hey, you need to look at what the relationships, what are we really talking about here? We're talking about good versus evil, boys. And that's what we're talking about right now. Guaranteed. 
Well, okay. what kind of relationship do you have with your nephew here? I'm, <sighs> I'm interested. To, if we're talking about relationships, let's go there. What? No, no. Uh, me and him, uh, <laughs> you know, we have a good relationship, okay? During the show, okay, we done some good stuff together, okay? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> no, no, I'm uh, serious. I'm serious. Uh, I, I mean, I got to say, my favorite interaction between you two were – when you were handcuffed to him. So oh, that, man. That That's, was good stuff. No, no. That was one oh, of my crap. favorite episodes. And then the other one that I liked probably better than that one was the Mountain Man radio show. Because yeah. I'm walking behind him when we go in there. And I look, and there's the receptionist up there. And there's one of them little bells on, on, on the deal. <laughs> and go. I made my mind up right when I was saying it. I'm fixed to drive. Willie and Mountain Man slam insane ringing that bell. He tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I did it. <laughs> he tried. And then, hey, then what the good part was about uh, a week after that episode ran on TV, someone, a fan, had built me a... His bongo bells. Bongo boys. bells. <laughs> okay. And then I drove my wife insane and she threw it in the trash can. <laughs> And I'm still mad at her because of that. I, I, was I don't getting think good. So I don't think that was the tipping point of driving your wife insane. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. it's no, no. probably the 40 years she's been with you. <laughs> 50. Has, yeah. 50. It's 50. coming up to 50, boys. Well, you started that about at 40. I'm going to say it was probably 10 years ago we did that. So. Oh, my goodness. Uh, great. I, but one of my favorite, I think the hardest I ever laughed was, um, was when we were, what was the one we were in Nashville? And Sai has the giddy up on the cowboy hat. And mm -hmm. he started. The song was his poker game the other night. He goes, <laughs> He's just singing about the game. Well, the other night, I got pocket jacks. <laughs> guy next to me had I it. laughed so hard on that, that day. I'll never forget that day. Oh, man. There were some I good times in that. Was. I mean, I remember when we watched what the premiere of the one, and we weren't a part of size film. And remember, we were all together. And when it cut to him and he said, have you kids ever heard of Nam? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we all just hit pause. Yeah, overall, that's my, yeah, one of my favorite episodes. No, no, the that funniest one. thing about that was Jay said, I can't believe you talked like that in front of them kids. I said, Jace, the kid wasn't there when I was doing that. And he said, what? I said, I was in front of a green screen by myself. No, you weren't in front yes, of a I green was. screen. There was, the kid was not there. They brought the kids in later Sigh. when I was that playing is not, that, that is, is not no. a lie. It's We're not. in the five percent zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the virus is playing tricks with the memories now. Season one, we couldn't even afford green screens in yeah. season one. You were at the know. school. You were at the school. I know it. And you were. Hey, the kid wasn't in there what? when I was giving he's, all that stuff. He's lost his. Oh, uh, he's getting foggy. He's got that yeah. COVID no, brain. I mean, he's got that COVID brain. <laughs> That COVID didn't war away. What was what was left? Uh, which wasn't much. Uh, oh, it's, you boy. Know, it's got that, that COVID hey, brain. Don't listen to these idiots. I know where we've been. I don't know where we're going, but we are going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. ScoreMaster can be the difference between getting whatever deal they offer you on a home, car, credit card, or apartment. Are getting the best deal and saving money. How is that possible? Because the average ScoreMaster user adds 61 points to their credit score in 20 days or less. And we've had listeners write in saying they've added as much as 100 points. So, look, you can get 33 points in just a few days, which can save you thousands of dollars on a loan. That is an absolute game changer. Even if you have a great credit score, ScoreMaster shows you how spending affects your score. It even tells you when to pay certain bills to boost your credit score. No one else does that. ScoreMaster is so valuable, the average person logs in almost five times a month. That's way better than online banking. Remember when Steve Jobs said, simple is the hardest thing to do. That's deep, Steve. That's real. Do you know that's how simple is the hardest thing to do? That's it. And you can't, pay, you can't spell simple without SI. That's so, it. Hey. Very true. Look, ScoreMaster has done it. It's simple and easy to use. So take one minute now to enroll, see your points, get your points, and get a million dollars in fraud insurance to protect your score. All you have to do is go to scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck. Where were we? I don't even Welcome know. back. We just debunked. We just showed Cy that yeah. he was actually not in front of a green screen. So in that, the break, episode Frog in One, Cy's just in a library 
yelling at kids about nom and tigers. Yeah. No. Bengal tiger. Bengal tiger ripped his arm off. Oh. Now, hey, I got something to say. Okay. Well, knock yourself out. I heard you were talking about bidets. Uh-oh. Hey, don't jump the gun here. We got something special <laughs> playing. But... Easy, easy. Easy, <laughs> easy rich AJ boy. Uh-oh. Right easy, here. rich boy. Silver, easy. Silver booze. Yeah. Silver easy booze. master bedroom at 12. <laughs> This is for normal people. <laughs> hey, show, hey, I've heard a rumor that Johnny D has a bootleg bidet. It's not bootleg. An attachment. Well, he couldn't he, afford the real bidet because he's got that Rolex I mean, on his. Wrist. A bidet is a bidet, <laughs> but you've got one that you've attached, like some kind of little small water hose you've connected to your commode. A commode was what with exactly? A garden hose. It's not a garden hose. It's a bidet. That's a, bit, a good a name. Bidet attached. I mean, I've seen a bidet, but I'm. It's not separate and apart anymore. <laughs> they fixed it. Have you seen Cars too? The cartoon. No. What? Well, they have well, one. I've seen Cars. No. A lot you, of our fans have so only seen You got something off a, a cartoon and put it in your no. bathroom. I'm just saying hey. that the four. So you're using this? Yeah, I'm using it. Very clean. It ain't a garden hose. That is a correction. You know the one they're advertising where they have the 18 wheeler run over it. That's the kind of deal. You, know, you turn it on and it, it goes out. Okay. I don't know okay. what he's talking about. He's talking about go. that flex hose. Son. I've yeah, got to go to check out hose. this bidet. So look, but I'm re- I'm remodeling my bathroom, <laughs> and I found one that has a bidet built in and a blow dryer. What do you, I mean, is that not the coolest thing anybody's ever heard? <laughs> it, you, you are spending way too much time. Although I will say this, I will say I've hung out with this guy a lot. <laughs> Here we go. That region of his body is the worst smelling foul. The whole area, geographically, everything down there. So I made him one time. We were traveling together. He smelled so bad. I, I made, know what happened. He goes in there and sprays like light industrial Lysol from a from like a. Bathroom. I apologize for this. I could. I mean, I was gonna. This vomit. is a good story. So if a bidet, whatever. I did not have a bidet at the time, but, but something well, uh, happened. Bro, you didn't have a bar ate, of soap at the time. I ate something wrong. There was no, 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 no. No, was it? No, we're not talking about gas. <laughs> no, right. no, just no, we went it was to just the Texas funk Rangers of your body. Game. No, I remember it. Was, it. it was just it was awful. Radiate now, <laughs> <of you. laughs> Martin. Martin, have you never Worst heard this story? Thing oh. ever. We go to a Texas Rangers game and like oh, midway on the the plane's a thousand degrees, and I'm just pouring sweat. And no, no excuses for. Uh, I was sitting there too, and I wasn't just reeking I and just blowing out making, the whole plane. I'm just trying to tell the story. <laughs> Well, uh, the story ended, and I was like, you're either going to get off the plane and g- hitch a ride. You, you should have just jumped on the old Greyhound bus <laughs> and just busted back from Dallas. Oh, my Man, this guy. Anyway. So, I, But I'm not a believer in bidets. Are you a bidet guy? Who, me? Yeah. No. Uh-uh. No, I'm not. A, so, I, are you a bidet no, man? No, I didn't even want. So I'm the only guy I'm, here. I'm, I didn't right. know what it was. But, right. okay. but, but our fans, our fans are bidet people. Well, maybe they grew up rich like you did, and it's they tried to figure they're out. Like 50 I, I'm bucks. whatever it is. Here's why I don't like bidets. <laughs> I'd love to hear this. <laughs> kind of like washing dishes. <laughs> All right. Washing. I like like if I'm washing a plate. Yeah. I like to see the evidence. See, you don't know how see, to use. There's a bidet. evidence. There's evidence, that, and then when I get through washing that plate with a dish rag. It's as clean as it can be. See, and you, uh, like some of our fans, they don't know how so to So what properly... you do, you take a dirty plate, just a nasty, dirty plate. And just shove you it in the dishwasher. stick it up under the water, <laughs> and you're like, good enough. Nope. And then you put it back in the pantry. <laughs> no. Nope. See, that's, but what's that's the, what... But what's the first thing you do with the dirty plate? You shove it under the water. And then you wash it off. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, technically, Wash the first thing evidence. I do is take a paper towel to my dirty plate, dump that in the garbage, and then I go to that sink. There you go. There you go. So See, that's why I don't like bidets. Right. It's, it's not one, toilet paper less. Don't right. mix, it's just don't less mix dishes and plates with bidets. I, don't no. go there. I, it's just a visual hey. for everybody. As funky hey. as John yeah. David is, he, yeah, needs a, he needs a little mini power washer. <laughs> <laughs> Like you need a little, you need a, you actually need like a bathroom attendant. 
in your bathroom with a little power washer. Like a guy? Just, yeah, just spray you with down. With mints? Yeah, I mean, just spray you down. <laughs> oh. That boy's funky. It, hey, it sounds like y'all need to buy y'all a sound blaster. <laughs> For what? <laughs> For your behind, <laughs> the whole region. Oh, we've gone down a path. Well, I just wanted to say that. All because right. If you're ever with Willie, it, it only takes two or three times and it's, it's hung on you. Well, I'm just, you may need to work in some more showers or something. You know? like, I don't know what the problem I'll wear is. The, the Texas Ranger game, something happened that yeah, night. It was, yeah, it was, it was a problem. I agree. It's like me and him went on like a two-week streak when we were when i first started here deer hunting we were coming back home for your grandma's <laughs> funeral so we mm -hmm. drove like all night or whatever when i about killed you oh, and all yeah, that yeah. stuff but we'll, we'll we'll bypass the part where i almost killed him i don't even remember driving through the town of san antonio no i was Ooh, not been hey. drinking i was just sleepy like i mean we oh, left oh. at 1 a.m is that when i stopped at bucky's and yeah woke, woke me up was yeah tired. but i dropped like 1500 dollars at bucky's gas station first time Grief. And yeah. when they drop the big fire pit in the back of the truck, Martin <laughs> jumps up. Scared me to death. <laughs> I like had no idea. I had been, I was in that REM sleep. So I was in a, you know, your eyes shaking. And they dropped that fire pit in there. And I thought, I was like, that's all of it. Something, we're dead. I woke up and he's smiling with like bags of beef jerky and candy. Uh, and nothing everything. like a Bucky's. <laughs> uh, the first Bucky's. Bucky's. That was like the first time we had been. I'm that, that guy, a, Bucky's, man. Every, I'm spending some cash at Bucky's. I think everybody remembers the first time they went to Bucky's. But look, don't it's let, like Disney World. Don't let this boy <laughs> fool you. On that trip coming home, he propped his feet up on the dash and mm. it was. Oh, yeah. He'd been wearing, he'd been stuck in the same pair of socks because he only brought one for about a week and a half. And when he put them feet on that dash with no boots on, I said, foul. "What? What? What happened?" Yeah, foul. Like what? 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 What just happened? Like, Willie a bidet for his feet. We had the windows, we had the windows down on Interstate going about eighty, and it was twenty five degrees outside. But you couldn't go up. He had done unsheathed them socks, uh, and buddy, funky. there was no getting away from it. It was funky. <laughs> It was a bad deal there. It was funky. Oh, man. I don't know why I didn't buy socks at Bucky's. I don't either. <laughs> they got them. Yeah, well, of course. They, they, got <laughs> they got everything. But the socks, you didn't unsheath them socks till after we had left Bucky's, so it uh, was too late at that point. Hey, when I got home, I peeled them things off. Uh, oh, I bet they were. I bet you took them off, and they were like <laughs> firm, like just still look like they were on your foot. Man, those things were I bad. would get it if, John David, if it were hunting season. Yeah. You know, and you were That's totally bunky. excusable. Two but weeks cold. Gone. Everything. You're not just yep. reeking yep. like the reek stays within your clothing, but <laughs> the reek stays. Oh, this was just Made a random mistake, day everybody. in May, like huh? Summer, yeah. It was like <laughs> June. Nasty, yeah. It was a bad deal. <laughs> it's a bad deal. <laughs> there, was, there was another person with us who threatened to hurt me is how bad it smelled, and that man's name was Marcus Luttrell. <laughs> and I 100% know I'm losing a fight to him yeah. quickly. Yeah. yeah. When Marcus Luttrell tells you you stink so bad, <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I'll, Marcus has smelled yeah. some funk, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I don't know but if y'all watched that movie to, about him. but I mean, like, this is, You, you this. need to give up the bidet. <laughs> That was pre bidet. Hey, hey, we fixed these issues. You're, beside your toilet needs to be some dishwashing liquid, a couple of rags, and one of them Irish, scrubbers, and a Irish series spring. of a series of mirrors so that you can confirm it is exactly. Clean. That's just weird. Well, I mean, you got to look somehow. What if you miss a spot? I just. Uh, I now I would say that yeah, I'm. No, I'm probably saying too much now. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll edit it gonna, if we need to. I don't to. want to be the headline on this thing, but I would say I'm probably at eighty percent of the time when that happens to me. When I go, <laughs> I just take a shower. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, from there to there. Yeah, I just if you have to like, total. If clean. you go to the bathroom, you're like, all right, shower time. Shower time. That's that's pretty much a bidet. I just get the whole. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what you need. You need you to go to the car wash, Jack. I would have to. That's where you need to be. I would have well, to shower down to the at car the wash. car wash, baby. Look, as a guy who's worked very closely with him now for the past four or five years, oh. specifically, well, he if he did that, he would only work two hours a day. I'd the have, boy has got a very oh, active lower bowel. Oh, I'm no, very, very active, very regular. Very I just, regular. I accept my watch. Well, bowel. I know he urinates like that. Right. The only person that urinates more is that I can remember is like Corey when she was pregnant. Or Cy. 
Or oh, a side. Yeah, yeah. Pee and side. side needs a catheter. He's, yeah. <laughs> Look, but I mean, he, but I got a reason why. I'm saying when I was in okay. my late twenties, I wasn't like you know, going to the bathroom every. 12 I drink minutes. a lot of water. It's nah, healthy. John Johnny D's first stop in the morning when he gets here is like, hey man, what's up? Next thing you hear the toilet flush at the end of the hall. That's that's step one. So well, then, his bowels are just. He's a human garbage disposal. And he eats everything. <laughs> he just goes around. He's like one of those Roombas just going around, just <laughs> eating food everywhere, just beef jerk, whatever it is. A, like, a Roomba. We just called you a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if, if anybody's feeling bad for me, this has been eight years of constant. Oh, my Not worried about it. <laughs> Welcome oh, to the oh. goat episode. Oh, the goat. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we're at that time. Let's take a dozen. You just called him a room, but let's take a break. I got to recover from that one for a second. Well, look, if you follow us and you've listened to this by now, you know that we have talked about Policy Genius in the past, and we're talking to you about it again today. Look, it's April. There's a lot of not so fun things that happen in April, mainly taxes. Um, you know, there's taxes. And here they come, boys. On the 15th, they will be here. But. There's also a lot of cool things that come in April, like the Masters, which is pretty awesome. But look, for Policy Genius, getting started is easy. All you have to do is head to policygenius.com. In minutes, you can work out how much coverage you need and compare quotes to find your best price. They put all of the life insurance coverages in one place to make your life easier. Life insurance can be overwhelming. So once you can go to Policy Genius, type in what you need what you're looking for they can give you the best rates best prices their licensed agents work for you not the insurance company so there's zero hassle if you hit any speed bumps during the application process policy genius will take care of everything the best part all the benefits of policy genius the comparison tool the handling paperwork unbiased advice they are totally free policy genius can promise that you won't leave their website feeling like a fool you could save 50 percent or more by comparing life insurance quotes and feel good knowing that if something happens to you your loved ones will be well taken care of. Go to policygenius.com to get started. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. I mean, we but do have was... something to talk to you about, really. I, I mean, I'm I'm curious. And um, all week via the social media, I, I saw your smiling face everywhere. What what What's new for the boss? I mean, we all know what's new, but the people at home don't know. So tell them what's new. Oh, our new TV show? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Is it a TV show? That's, if it's on Facebook, watch. It's a streaming show. I don't show. understand technology. Yeah. It's, there's You got a new show out. We have a new show called At Home with the Robertsons. It is a moving talk show. A moving talk we show? We talk, but we move. It's mobile. It's mobile. It's mobile. So we do fun stuff. We had guests come in, and um, we, um, yeah, we tackle some hot topics. <laughs> it's not like this show. It ain't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, on I this watched- show, we stay away from the heat. On on At Home with the Robertson, y'all, y'all went straight into the we fire. We jumped into with a the lot fire. Of- <laughs> so the show's out. Well, the show came out, and... Johnny D, how are the comments on the show? I'm reading them right now. They're solid. They're solid? They're I mean, solid. They're, I, mean I thought they were negative. Who said they were negative? Uh-oh. Somebody told me they were negative. Well, oh, I boy. have learned how to block out This person I sleep with told me that some of them were negative. Oh, well, there's always going to be some negative people. Yeah. You should read our comments. Well, what do you well I'm sure. <laughs> what do you mean by solid? Uh-oh. I mean, I th- people have said... Uh, we live in this world together. I love that. We have to find common ground. That was a lady named Kimberly. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Janet said, thank you for bringing some sunshine into our lives and discussing real life. Blessings on this show. Thank you. Uh, Don says, so happy you guys are back. So, yeah, there's a bunch of... Chantel said she missed you guys. Um, Wait a minute. Chantel's my friend. She, meant, oh. she just missed me in life. Chantel, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the show's out, and, um, yeah, it's, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We had... Uh, we have guests come in. Then we go out and do something kind of fun, Louisiana. Well, not everything's Louisiana. On the Me first and, one, you built a duck call with some people from yeah. Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta. Yeah. And, I, and hey, look, I'm reading Yandy it. and Mendeecees, yeah. I just read some negative comments. They didn't, they didn't watch. Oh, they didn't watch it. That's what it looks they just like. They generally don't like me. Oh, look, they're talking about this, and they just move like. 
I was on a couple of them. I had I had a blast uh, shooting a couple of them that I did. Uh, so I, I was on a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's a good time. And it, it's the the food on the table is a a neutral zone, so to speak. Okay, and then we discuss stuff while eating a fine meal. Yeah. I like that. <clears throat> food yeah. on a table is a neutral, neutral. zone. That's, well, that's, no, no, that's a is. good episode, the one size yeah. on, or yeah. one of the ones when, because we talked <clears throat> about kneeling for the national anthem or standing I was uh, there. the flag yeah we took yeah. him boys oh, crawfish right. yeah, yeah we yeah. took him boys yeah. crawfish and that was and then we got the dinner table and I, now we were worried about Sai si because I si got heated <laughs> he wasn't no funsy Sai si. <laughs> <laughs> well angry Sai si. you, know, well, you got to understand like, like like they <clears throat> made his soup wrong at the deli he was that guy oh. well see you know you got to understand okay for those that served our nation and wore our nation's uniform, and some of them died for it, okay, and for that flag. Because to the people out there, that may be just a song or a national anthem, and that flag may just be a piece of cloth to you. It's more than that, okay, to people that serve and have gave limb, life, you know. So, yeah, <clears throat> it, uh, that's a hot topic with me. Well, it, okay. was, it I, was a hot topic. And, and I told the guys that did it, okay, you need to find another venue for your protest. Okay? It's a good show. You just need to watch the yeah. show and see how. But it was fun over that night watching it play out because it started out size, size leaning back and our guest was leaning back and they're kind of going at each other. But then as <laughs> the night kept going, they actually moved closer together. They leaned in to each other. Yeah. And they kept talking the whole night, and and so yeah. But we just had to. Yeah. But that's I missed a lot of times. We have yeah. to talk through that. I mean, you guys have, are married. You probably have had some of those where you start out <laughs> leaning away and on the <laughs> other side of the room, and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boy, I mean, yeah. Uh, you know? that's like, never happened. No. Oh yeah. man, not All this week, time. anyways. Um, yeah, no. I so I mean, that was the idea. That's the idea behind the show, and. Um, yeah, it's fun. We'll see if people, um, I mean, they're engaged. I mean, people are making oh, comments yeah. and, you know, starting some more conversations, well, but like, also doing some things, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, here's what I think. People are like, we need to have a conversation until you say what they don't want to hear. And then they don't want to have the conversation. So it's like, you've got yeah, to be wanna, open to yeah, hearing they don't, they don't wanna talk anymore. the other opinion, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. there's, there's different yeah. ways. And that issue was one that we needed to get some clarity on because some of these things aren't terribly organized they're just people are doing stuff and you, you don't really know what they're like what was the point where did it start who started it? and so um i learned that on especially that issue was that you know and there's different there was difference even the the guests we had there was a little bit different opinions you know yep. about what it was so well i like the way you said it okay to actually <clears throat> put a little light on that put it's like putting a spotlight on it and say okay let's look at this Okay, you've got your, <clears throat> you've got your reason for doing it. Okay, and I've got my reason, telling you that you should not do it. At this point in time, or at this, uh, you know, during the anthem. Yeah, and, and just like yeah. everything in life, though, it generally, if you look on both sides, there's somewhere in the middle of where both of you are at that everybody can generally yeah. get behind yeah. you know they're yeah. somewhere right there in the middle and that that was kind of the cool thing for me being a part of that episode was i got to listen to these guys off script like not reading what they've mm -hmm. been coached no, to no, read no. not yeah. just telling me about this was, their life yeah this and was I thought, from the heart yeah i okay. mean I, yeah and i can appreciate that yeah. out of anybody um one thing i tell everybody that works here look never be afraid to have open and honest dialogue with people yeah. like just just if you got a problem with the way i'm doing something come talk to me i'm cool with it because let me assure you if i got a problem the way you're doing it i'm gonna come talk to you so well, i thought like, it was actually I mean, good on our episode that i was involved in because we just said okay you know we're gonna have to agree okay you know i said hey i see the injustice you're talking about and I will stand beside you to fight that injustice. I said, you just need to pick another spot to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about America and about life. We yeah. all have yeah. that opinion, and there's a there's a middle ground we can get to. Yeah. And 
let's uh let's take another break real quick we'll be right back on a little bit deeper episode of the duck call room dr mcquillan is back in the house boys and you know what dr mcquillan's been up to for 35 years uh of research and development boys working working for for you you. guaranteed whether it's back knees neck or shoulder pain the underlying cause is most likely inflammation how do we defeat inflammation here on the duck call room omega sl boys guaranteed you got to fix it before it causes permanent damage so As we've said, it is backed by 35 years of clinical research. Omega XL attacks the inflammation that's causing the pain. It's absolutely brilliant. It comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand. New Zealand, boy. (laughs) New Zealand. They extract it from that beautiful green muscle down there and just put it in a pill, make it easy for you. Pain relievers and topical rubs just mask the problem, but Omega XL neutralizes the inflammation that causes painful stiff joints and muscles. So let's get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. And you get one free, folks. Uh, yeah, you would think making fun of people would get old, but it rarely does, yeah. especially when you're friends, because we all know we love like each it. other around here. That's a good time. Well, you're... You got to be able to laugh at yourself, son. Yeah. And sometimes laugh at other people. <laughs> <laughs> it goes both ways. I, I like both. Guaranteed. It goes both ways, boys. Got to laugh at other people. With all due respect. Right. Yeah, with all due respect. With all due respect, of course. How do you feel about the phrase, with all due respect? I'm just curious. Does that, does that excuse you for whatever due, for what comes next? It, to me, that means nothing. Wow. Thank you. All mm. it is is an alert <laughs> to get ready. <laughs> Sign, Martin. Clay. No, no. It's, I, it's an alert to get ready because somebody expects to get on you. Okay? <laughs> So, hey, you can say whatever it, you want as long as right, you start ready. it with with get all ready, due respect. Coming. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, that hey, doesn't but, mean anything. No, no. with all due respect, what, and then you're gonna say something disrespectful? Yes. Well, no, because I, <laughs> no, because I gave you all that you were due prior, like, that's, <laughs> which is not much. <laughs> well, I mean. I got somebody on my side, people. Oh, I'm excited. Well, you're a, you don't yeah, I was like, that doesn't side. mean anything. They're like, no. It's, if I say with all due respect, that's your chance to stop listening. Yeah, that, that's your chance to stop me in my tracks. Say, no, just don't say it. <laughs> like, it's fine. Like, we're good. No big deal. No big deal. But, yeah, I was just curious where you stood on it. There, there's he's, different he's strokes for different folks. Hey, y'all agree on something. It is that's a great. warning. Yeah, it's a warning. Wow. Yeah. I'm it's awesome. the rattle, It's the rattler of the rattlesnake. <laughs> See, he's going, <laughs> yeah. with well, all you, due respect, yeah, yeah. I'm fixing a yeah. bite. <laughs> yeah. Yo. You better get out the way. Yeah. Hey. 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 Oh, that's funny. So I said he used it in the military all the time. So yeah, that's where you know. it started. Well, oh, no, no, no. Here's you the have deal. to do oh. Like, you got to, that. Them boys don't play with that. Well, here's what you got to do, okay? If you, don't ask me the question if you're not ready to accept the answer. <laughs> oh, I know that. You okay. don't pull no Unless answer. you say with all due respect, then you can give them the answer. <sighs> but even well, then. Well, no, no. I just always told them, hey, look, don't ask me that. <laughs> you don't want me to answer that. You don't want <laughs> the answer, okay, you're going to get. Okay? And what if they say, well, I answer it anyway? Well, then they get hit. And you got rode up. And I, I got through out. <laughs> I got through out of his office. Even if you said with all due respect. It didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference. Oh, he, proved it. he just proved it. No, no, no. Hey, I'm talking about to them, it didn't make any difference. What it made you, a difference to Cy. He felt better about it. Yeah, so I could sleep oh. at night then. Oh. And hey, in the day. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, I had to do one thing in the military. Nap every day. No, no. Well, I've done that too. But anyway, uh, no, I had to do one thing. No, no. When I got up and got ready, you know, brushing my teeth, everything, looking in the mirror, I had to like what I saw. And that was hard. Okay. And, <laughs> hey, and that, hey, that was hard. Okay. <laughs> And I didn't put up with no BS. Yeah. yeah. That's just the deal. Well, if I woke up and looked and saw what you see in the mirror, I'd be angry too, man. <laughs> hey. I'd but, be like, what uh, happened? Hey, look, you ain't no primrose yourself there, buddy. 
<laughs> okay, have you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> I like what I see. And hey. size flat top well, hey, days, he was hey, good looking. Look, a muddy rut is a muddy rut, buddy. Oh, I could appreciate that. <laughs> and a muddy butt is a muddy butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Amen, brother. Crank the power washer up. <laughs> Johnny D is going to sanitize the day. Oh, hey, my goodness. Irish Spring works wonders. Oh, man. <laughs> Irish Spring. It's a soap. John David doesn't even know what that is. Do they still make Irish Spring? <laughs> I just ain't seen those commercials in a while. That's why Irish Spring used to have some pretty good commercials oh, back in the day. I'm but. an exclusive Irish Spring guy. Are you? Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Oh, it's, got, it's got a good aroma. <laughs> oh, okay. Un- we back on un- that aroma. Unlike the funk. That some people walk around <laughs> spreading. Oh, Grandmaster <laughs> Funk over there. Oh. And we ain't talking band here either, boys. <laughs> he must be used. I bet you're a body wash guy, right? No, I'm a bar soap guy. You're a bar man? I think I'm a bar man, boy. I mean, I bet that bar of soap looks like a sheet of Velcro <laughs> when you get done with it, don't it? All that hair you got? I don't have a lot of hair below my neck. Oh. oh, I don't have a lot of hair on top of my on head. On the next episode. <laughs> 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 he's Body pro- hair. He's probably a, a, a rope, a soap on the rope guy. Soap on a rope. Yeah, soap right. on the rope, right. man. Right. No. He don't want to drop it? <laughs> Is that what you say, saying, sir? Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> We've derailed. I don't either. Oh, it happens. This, in this train way. has gone over the cliff, boys. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I got her. Is there something wrong with body washing a loofah? Is that, is that a no, problem? No, I just was. Oh, I was just curious. I, I mean, if, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out the font. So oh, I got gotcha. you. Trying to I help him you. stay I, clean. This, by the way, everybody, oh. all the stories shared today were are like five year old stories. Well, yeah. But well, that's what makes no, them good. I mean, <laughs> here we go. I, I still don't think you're the <laughs> cleanest man I've ever met. Yeah, I'm not trying to be the cleanest man. You're the. Know. You're actually the, I, I've said this to your face, you're the sloppiest guy I know. Yeah. Sloppiest assistant okay. in the world. Oh, he's just Kinda a slob. Yeah. Oh. Just a slob. Food in the, have you ever eaten with him? All the time. I mean, just, it stays. Well, before, before COVID, yeah, we ate lunch pretty much every day together. So. Now we just eat. Did he have, how, the long only have thing, you, how long have you worked for this man? Uh, eight years eight in years? March oh, as his years. assistant. Okay. The only positive thing wondering. about the mask was that it would cover up John David's food in his face. So I did like that part of the mask wearing. I don't, I don't even know what this means. I, I've told him before, <laughs> just slow down. Like you don't, It's not a contest. Yeah. Right. Now, he is the make, first done. And I consider myself a pretty rapid eater, oh, but he's the first one done. Uh, hey, I was There's done no tell y'all. It. The boy was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, but hey, they didn't ever put nothing in it. <laughs> That's why he eats so fast. <laughs> The boy has literally been starved to death as a child. No, he 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 ain't starving. He's, <laughs> no. he's good on that. Well, hey, that's the hunt. Yeah. Oh, I think him. not. Got him on that flank meat. <laughs> I'll be oh. over here for the duration of this episode. That oh. boy is like a Pillsbury doughboy. Here we go. No, oh. and here I was thinking I was the one who's going to be dodging stuff the whole time. <laughs> Anybody yeah. else? Sitting Anybody next, else? sitting next to this guy is always dangerous. I mean, the first time we flew together, you remember that one? No. You were on the exit row because you know, big time. Yeah. I was on row seven, right yeah. in front of you. I'm just a better planner. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you. I both, take the exit row so that in case of an emergency, I can help people. That's why I take it, not because of the extra leg room. <laughs> oh yeah. my goodness! Exactly. But anyway, you started the trip with a 20 ounce bottle of water. By the time we landed in Atlanta, you had about three ounces left. The rest of it was down my shirt. Because I was sitting right in front of him. Every, every three minutes, he'd just pour another drop down my back. And he'd just start laughing. I mean, I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm on the smallest row on the plane as it is. I can't get back there. We too. all have different ways of training employees. But, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah well, speaking of that, I'll, well, I'll bring that up another day. But that's When fine. he's not here? No, I'll get him again. I just want to know why you didn't have to drive to vegas oh, that's all i'm that's all i'm curious about everybody else look at him look at him laughing look at him laughing look at him laughing See, you're still here i am still hey, here hey you do trips like that you end up uh, longevity hey, he's <laughs> mad that i didn't have to ever drive who else vegas? is still here jay slumming it yeah. godwin johnny yeah. godwin yeah that's about uh, it. Hey, they put their time in. Yeah, they all drove at, but, oh. but me and Jay Slumming it got the rawest end of that whole deal. Jay I mean, Slumming it, this is for sure. The did. guy thrown in the guy I, thrown in the bench seat. I had to train him for about a decade. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe we ought to get Jordan on here one oh. time just for. Oh. He's got <laughs> stories galore, and he's uh, very lengthy at times. How many times have you fired him? A couple of times. Yeah, yeah. and he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> both, yeah, I would fire him, and then. He just kept coming Somehow, to work. yeah, he would just show back up. I was <laughs> like, I thought I just fired him. <laughs> That's Perseverance, good. boys. Perseverance. <laughs> He's got a lot of perseverance. <laughs> hey, 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 can, can we address that? What's that? I need to. I need to educate Sai. Ooh, I'm perseverance? excited. Perseverance. It is not perseverance. Well, then educate me. It's perseverance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Endeavor to persevere. That's right. Endeavor. No, you did persevere. a lesson. You did a a Bible speech one time, like twelve years ago, and you kept saying perseverance. Man has got a memory it's like a perseverance. Elephant. Am I right, Mark? I mean, I'm not a, no, no, I'm you're not highly you're educated. Perse- no, you're correct. No, you're right. <laughs> you're perseverance. Correct. Perseverance. perseverance. Endeavor to persevere. That's right. I like I like endeavor to that's, persevere. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I like it sounds better. Endeavor. I'm to glad persevere. I got that off my chest because I've been embarrassed uh, for you uh, for, for like twelve years. Twelve years. That's all you, you need know to know how to about pronounce the word. Willie. Well, hey, I didn't. I, I'm glad you got it off your chest so you can move on. Yeah, I can move on now. <laughs> yeah. Now that it's I'm a twelve year old. <laughs> I'm just Bible <laughs> class from 2008, and Willie's like. Willie goes to bed some nights like, remember when Sai just said perseverance? He said it like 800 times. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, Man. That was his Was buzzword. it a good lesson? That was actually a very good lesson that I gave. <laughs> it apparently it? was. Yeah. yeah, it was. That was the identity he's, crisis. He's, uh, he didn't need an altar call. I can just yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they were going to be streaming down the aisles after that. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> One thing around the Robinson crew, you got to have a thick skin, boys. Or you're toast. Hey, are you going to get toast? Stuck. Yeah, you okay. going you going to end up in therapy yeah, somewhere. Yeah, if you yeah. Don't. Oh, yeah. I'm close oh. today. <laughs> I'm wow. either going to go I'm either gonna get to therapy hey. or take a shower after this. Well, I'm just, I mean, I think about your wife and your children. I mean, I'm trying to help them, man. If I can be their voice, like. <laughs> Why does my daddy <laughs> smell so bad? Because he doesn't know how to clean himself, you know? Like you're cuz here's the thing. You've got 3 offspring that need to, you're in charge of cleaning them and then teaching them how to clean themselves. But all it takes is one bad link of the chain, man. There'd be a whole bunch of stinky Owens running around. <laughs> oh. All it takes people one time. <laughs> Oh, oh, my. That was, Lady, that was with good. friends like this, you don't need no enemies, son. No. You ain't even got to go online to get all the bad stuff. <laughs> that, that's what's good is when you get roasted more in here than you do online. I, this episode, But I'm he sure did just give them all new material. <clears throat> oh, yeah. They had kind of run out on stuff they could make fun of you for, but boy. Oh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll write a book on it. <laughs> right. like, it's right. a lot. It's, make please, sure you put, put, make sure you put his email address and put in Rumba in there. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure hey, that'd, be the Human time. that'd be the title of it. Rumba. Oh shit. Oh Lord. Well let's take our last break. We'll be right back with with the fan segment right after this. All right. All right, we we're back ready? online. Let's take this let's we're take this train on, uh, home. All right, y'all stay tuned next week, Uh-oh. okay, because we're gonna be speaking about how to be hygiene good. Hygiene oh my gosh. Good. We're going to talk about perseverance and hygiene <laughs> good. Yeah. That's right, boys. Um, and a shorter way of saying that, Sai si apparently wants to do one on being hygienic. That's right. Um, hygienic. hygienic. Hey, you know what I did last night? So uh, No, we didn't. We were fishing. No, we didn't. The whole family was fishing. What was you fishing for? Food. Anything that would bite. <laughs> oh, Bass, oh, crappie. Okay. They're okay. biting too, man. Oh, it's on, on fire on the, right yeah. now. I it's on the, on fire. the pond. It is, yeah, on my, on my oh, pond. Okay. And uh, so right. my kids are fishing. We're going to do a fish fry. So it's like eight. Well, they bring the fish up there. <laughs> I don't typically clean dead fish, but I'm like, how long were they dead? And so, But I cleaned them. I think they're okay. <laughs> were, they you, on, were they on ice? No, they're in water. Just in a bucket? Yeah. Oh, they're oh, solid. The long, water's not that hot. Got? I mean, a couple of hours. Okay, all right, we're good. I wouldn't so go crazy. I cleaned them. We got and one. We got a giant bass. I'm sure that'll taste good. Mm, um, Going to taste just like mud. But I needed it because, you know, my kids were like, hey, here we go. And I'm like, I only know one guy who, you know, turned that into enough for a big meal, but I don't think I can do that. And so I went down <laughs> to catch some more. 
And uh, anyway, I didn't get enough sign. I'm having to clean all the fish. And well, it's eight forty-five, and there. And I'm like, look, this ain't gonna happen. We're got to wait. We need some more fish. And well, then they're starving to death, and they're like, oh, we gotta eat something out, you know, if we're gonna wait on the fish. So I was gonna buy. I was, so I was like, I'll make hamburgers, right? The unfortunate thing about Easter is that all the grocery stores closed on Easter, which is great for... Well, you should have just texted your boy. I could have brought you fish. Well, crap. No, now we're eating you fish needed, tonight. Well, I mean, you yeah. needed ground beef. So you know where I ended up at 9.15 last night? In line at Sonic. No, I don't know. <laughs> hey. Hopefully in your... It fa- never gets that bad for me. <laughs> it don't ever. No, 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 no. no, I mean, I enjoyed... Yeah, fast, but I'm like, no, you enjoy we're not eating. Right. We're not. I, no, I'm cooking. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to cook. So I, where do I have to go? I'm so where do I have intrigued. to go to buy food? I don't know. No, no, I, no I don't I'm know. so intrigued. Tell me what happened. Well, where would you go buy groceries at 9:15 at night in this Walmart? Town? On Easter? I'm at the big Walmart. Oh, the big big. Oh, the big one. You want the 24 one. hours a day? Just let me say, you want to keep it real? Going to Walmart at 10 o'clock at night, it's real. <laughs> It's real in there, man. Do they have any Duck Dynasty merch? Left? It is real in there. It's real in there, boys. So then I went home and cooked hamburgers. Well, well I cooked the hamburgers in 15 minutes, but I had to go get the materials. Yeah, I'm only eating fresh stuff. I ain't going to Sonic. Well, no, I was just saying maybe you went. Thawing out stuff, well, man. It, man. You start thawing stuff out at 930. I just thought you may go ask them and say, hey, y'all got some hamburger patties. I didn't know who was open. So the, like, no, I mean, the fish the fish fry is actually tonight. Oh, well, next time, just, right. just text me. I, mean, I, got, I right. got fish. And I'm going to miss work to go fishing, so there's always the trade. Oh, well, I like, thought we had an understanding, yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. Oh, these are from... And sometime in 2020, but they're good. Oh, I, no, that's fine. I, I ate, right. them. I ate you, them yesterday. You need to so. stop fishing in a gar hole. Go over at JD's Pond and catch all the crappie you want. And Big Dave's Pond? No, yeah. they ain't got crappie over Big Dave's Yes, they does. do. There's crappie in there? Yeah. Where? And Big Dave's, yeah. Hey, whoa, well, call yeah, everybody. I hey, yeah. as a man who everybody comes over and fishes on, I don't go to another man's pond. Now, you well, do. Not. Well, you do need to take up a collection plate from your brother to repurchase all the crappie he mm-hmm. took out of it. Hey, but I will say this: we caught three big crappie. Yeah, well, that's so they're still they're the in only there. three left. Oh, so man. one, no, one rolled, and I think I caught him. Sadie caught one, and Bella caught. No, yeah, Bella caught. We one. just restocked it. With but there's some little crappie in there oh, too. Yeah, they're the little ones. Good. Oh, y'all Next restocked it. But, but let me tell you, it's every time you put it in there, you, yeah. it's, it they are tearing it up right now. That's good. Well, yeah. good. I like to that get with Jay Stone and. Uh, well, look, you need to go get on that big old heifer that lives by the bear. I done caught her twice. So. The bear? The bear? I don't fish? go for the big. Yeah, I'm not in. No, I just want to look at her, check on her, make sure she's doing all right. By ripping her. Hey, just, I, I catch her once a year. That's it. I catch her once a year. Crappie or a bass? No, she's a bass. She's, a she's, bass. she's probably going to be about nine, nine and a half yeah. this year. Well, there was another BK, one right BK, by BK. the bridge. Yeah, that's a BK. big one. She was rolling. I, I hung her. And then she went in that. Jay's got so much crap in there now. He's put all these limbs. All the brush. She top. rolls up in the brush top. And yeah. She gone. Yeah. And all my rigging's gone. You got one back there by your father. So I went this morning. Too. Y'all appreciate this. So I was going to worm fish. And so I got the worms from yesterday. I went down and got all set up. There was a half a worm on the top. I used it. I caught three fish on the half a worm. <laughs> it was the only worm left. <laughs> so I'm all set up. That was it. And I got no worm. No worm. Oh, worm. Right. No worm. Well, who's going to. You. Boss, yes, you want to oh. you want to close this you got it? with a Bible verse? I do, man. Is it Let's Colossians it. four is it a, six? Is it a good one? It is not Colossians. Is it a good one? Six. Is that endeavor well, to it's persevere? It's in the Bible. I, I was gonna go with then, hey, Colossians then it four may six. Be a good one. If it's in the this Bible, this is the way we should live our lives. This is. I actually died laughing when I read this Bible verse, and I thought that's pretty cool. So, um. So the Apostle Paul, he's writing to the church in Corinth. So we're in 1 Corinthians 1. And he says, Is Christ divided? Verse 13. Was Paul crucified for you? That's a rhetorical question. Were you baptized in the name of Paul? Another rhetorical yep. question. I thank God that I did not baptize any of you except Chris, Crispus and Gaius. Say no one can, so no one can say that they were baptized in my, baptized in my name. And then in parentheses, yes, I also baptized the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I don't remember if I baptized anyone else. And I died laughing at the fact that Paul's trying to think of, did I baptize somebody else there? So we should live our lives to where 
you can't even remember who you baptized. Like you're forgetting good things you did. I think we all try to forget the bad things we did. And, uh, and when people remind us, we're like, Oh shoot, I did do that. Uh, but what about if we did so many good things that you're like, I can't even remember if I did that or not. And, um, I love when people come to me and tell me like, man, that day you said this to me, man, it really helped me out. And I really have forgotten that I even said that. I was like, what did I say? And so that's what I think if we live our lives where we're doing that, we'll be like, Paul, you'll be trying to think like, man, did I do that or not? But we know that it's good. That's that's my Bible verse. Yeah. Preacher right there. It's actually good because I said that. That's why I said good versus evil. As far as it goes for me, every morning I get up and I say, I'm going to try to be good today with everybody I meet. Be good to them and do what's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and like you're talking about, then somebody comes up and says, hey, man, you know, when you done this, you know, back when, you know, and you say, are you sure you're talking to the right person? Did I do that? Yeah. Yeah. I ran into a buddy that I went to high school with, and he doesn't even live here. He was here for the holidays a few months ago, and... He comes out and we walked outside and he said, yeah, man, I need to get back. I need to get my life in order. And I said, yeah. And um, he goes, do you remember you baptized me in high school? I totally forgot. No I mean, idea. I still don't no remember. Recollection. I, was like, yeah. I have no <laughs> memory of doing that. But he didn't forget it, yeah. and so uh, which was awesome. And so that was one I actually thought about. Like, I forgot even, you know. Actually, that's happened a lot. People have come and told me that, and I totally forgot. So. Ah, that's awesome. Well, look, boss, it's good to have you back in the duck call room. It's good to be in the room, man. It's good to make sure you're not working up here. Guaranteed. <laughs> no, we got a lot done today. That's good. We'll come back anytime, but for this week, we're out. We'll see y'all next week here on the duck call room. Be sure and wash your hineys. <laughs>